Solar Power Group is giving one lucky fan the chance to win a $10,000 solar installation for their home. The team at Solar Power Group recently installed panels on my home and I couldn't be happier. Visit nmfc.com.au slash solar to enter now. First time he's sort of just trying to take it all in and just in awe of everything. Um, and then now, now obviously sometimes you just think, you know, how good is this? In November 2015, a lifelong dream came true for Mitchell Hibbard. Pick 33, North Melbourne Football Club. Mitchell Hibbard, Clarence. The North jumper he loved so much growing up, now his to wear as a player. <laughs> Dear Mitchell, it's Daniel Wells here. So sorry for the late reply. I've just been really busy with training and footy. I'm so glad to hear that you're a real passionate football follower and that I'm your favourite player. Thank you for that. You sound like a gun player yourself, kicking 37 goals in only eight games. That's fantastic. Keep up all your hard work and hopefully I'll see you when we play in Tasmania this season. I've enclosed the signed card you sent me. Take care and go Roos, Daniel Wells. What's your immediate reaction? What's your memories? Oh, it's a bit funny now. Uh, Wells is a teammate now, so it's a bit different. But um, no, I think I was probably only seven or eight, maybe, when I wrote it. So yeah, I think I was pretty happy telling him how many goals I kicked. So no, it's a bit funny. Yeah, it's a good memory, really. Mitchell was destined to play AFL after dominating a junior level in Tasmania. The Bulldogs look to get it out of defence. Oh, oh really brought down a beauty. Look at the tremendous endeavour on the ball. He will run, run with the ball. Square. He has a snap. Tremendous snap there by young Hibbard. Been handballed, missed the target in Webster. Now he doubles back, short into the pocket. And he's found Hibbard. Tasmania dominating again. This is Hibbard. But then his world was turned upside down. I'm not going to get drafted. I'm not going to play AFL. That was probably the first thing that went into my head. In 2013, uh, late, I uh, ruptured my ACL. So, um, yeah, I missed 12 months with that, and then I came back and um, about two weeks into pre-season, I uh, popped my shoulder out and then had to have a shoulder, shoulder surgery as well. In total, I missed probably 18 months. At 17 years old, he could have thrown in the towel. Yeah, it was probably the hardest, hardest 18 months to date of my life. But with maturity well beyond his years, Hibbert never gave in. I always believed in myself when I was out. To the best I could, I sort of trained harder than I had before for 18 months and I guess the way to put it is I just felt like I was in an 18 month pre-season which you know, for any football is not much fun. Midway through 2015 and with little more than a few months until the draft, Hibbert was back. Oh, he's overcome adversity this boy. Missed all of last year and even a bit of the year before he's had shoulder problems, an ACL and then he's had a terrific year this year. Running through nicely is Hibbert. Doesn't he move well? Yeah, he looks he good, does. doesn't he? I love this kid. I loved him in the championships. His ability above his head is outstanding. After arriving at North, Hibbert finally began his AFL journey. It was a bit daunting sort of walking in and um, looking around and then you see, you know, the locker room, you see Brent Harvey on the locker and that. You just stare. I think you're just pinching yourself more than anything. I think for all of us, all of us draft days, we were just in awe of them. Just sort of probably thought we were just staring at him a bit. So Mitch Hibbert joins us. Welcome. The heroes he admired growing up, now his teammates. You got Todd Goldstein, all Australian. You know, you're kicking the ball to him or he's kicking the ball to you. And just think like, yeah, how good is this? Still when you walk in the doors, you still get a bit of a buzz. Those countless hours of rehabilitation now hold Hibbert in good stead. The workload is huge compared to anything we've obviously experienced. It's been tough and all you do is just like train and then eat and then go to bed and do it all again. The hard work, exhaustion and even moving away from his home state, all worth it. I'm living my dream so it doesn't really, for me, yeah, I wouldn't be, rather be doing anything else than, than be at these footy clubs. <laughs> <laughs> It's obviously a sacrifice, but it's definitely worth it to be a North Melbourne footy player.
And as for that letter to Daniel Wells... I don't know what actually made me write to him, but yeah, definitely it was something that always uh, stayed on, put up, was put up on my wall straight away when he sent back. So, well, Lindsay, Lindsay always sort of, if we're both in the ice bath or whatever, sort of stirs, stirs me up a bit. You know, says, "Oh, Wellsy, are you Wellsy? Is your favourite player over there? Like, go get his autograph or something like that." He's just a bit jealous. He's not my favourite player, but 